Hey Cactus Crew, I hope you are all going well. If you're new here, hi, I'm Bill. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be talking about Janelle and David Eason DV relationship, also CA. I am a survivor of DV, which is why these topics affect me most when it comes to Katie Joy, because she's ignorant to the damage that she's actually causing. Before I jumped on the KJ train, to hell. I was actually a I followed teen mum, 16 and pregnant since day dot. So basically I know all of Janelle's history. Janelle is actually a victim of domestic violence, a product of her environment. With the recent events, Jace ran away from the land and has allegedly accused David Eason of abusing him and we know that this has been going on for years we know if you've followed teen mum you know without a crystal ball did the vindictive move released janelle evans dm what goes on on the land Make sure you check out the description box if you would like to follow me you can on instagram tiktok and x at it's crystal bill please give this video a like comment below let me know what you think share it and please do consider subscribing Everything I say is my own opinion. Let's get into it. Katie Joy released a DB victim's DMs as a vindictive move. When Janelle turned on her, you know, caught her out for who she is, a sneaky bitch, a liar. Because Katie is not an advocate and this is why I just want to stress this so much. October 2018, Janelle's collarbone is broken by her husband, David Eason. April 2019, not even a year later, Nugget, their French bulldog, is brutally by David Eason on their property. November 2019, seven months later, Katie gets in contact with Janelle and Janelle opens up to Katie about what's going on inside their house because Katie's an advocate. September 2020, so a year later, KJ because she's called out by Janelle, released Janelle's DMs. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to read them and I'm also going to leave this link in the description box. So Katie's tweet. Tweet and delete. Starts with, now Janelle's mindless army is attacking Grace in her comments. Janelle, you don't play YouTube like this girl. About to put your ass on blast. Next tweet. Janelle Evans told me David had more than ET quote fingers anger issues and that he got violent with her two to three times while also saying David was ET quote fingers so mad when he unalived nugget. Nothing about just putting the dog down. She's making a joke out of a DB situation. She wants to rub it in her face that she has the power. She's reminding Janelle that she shared this with her. This is what she does. She pretends to be an advocate to get the details, to use against the victims, to further abuse them. These DMs, which were sent to Katie on the 21st of November, 2019. Katie's in the blue. Poor buddy. Do you ever feel like David unalived Nugget because you loved him so much? Janelle replies, no, he cried and he said he was sorry and understood if I was going to leave him. And he said that he wished he didn't do it. And he just said, I was just so mad. Sorry, saying just too much. Laugh out loud. Multitasking right now. Kaiser is great, but misses his toys in his bedroom. I left everything and didn't go back. I'm rebuying everything slowly. Um, Katie says, what was the final straw for you? Janelle says, him putting down my parenting, name calling 24 seven. I paid for everything. I wanted him to get a real job and he wouldn't. He wouldn't help me inside the house when it came to cleaning or keeping up the laundry. Then I would do everyone else's but his. He treated me like a slave in front of his friends and even his friends were like, that's not cool, bro. I felt like I was being used for sex, to clean and to cook. And I wasn't a real person to him. I was just there, if you get what I mean. Like, he truly hated me. I feel, yeah, he doesn't have shit. Oh, this continuing might have cut off at the end there. And you can say he is thousands behind on child support to Olivia and he's about to go to jail. And if you want, you should reach out to Olivia about it. Katie, how behind is he on child support? 800 a month on Caden and hasn't paid for months. 
and he actually did end up having to, well, I think Janelle paid it for him. Janelle continues. And by the way, I don't like Olivia because she's an obsessed fan, Katie. I honestly don't know what photo you are talking about. I didn't share any of the kids, Janelle continues. She digs at people close to me to get info about myself, not even David. Katie, really? That's awful. And then the next day, Katie, someone today was spreading a photo of Kaiser on the date they believed David locked him in the car, but I didn't touch it. Whoa! But you did speak about it in this video, in fact. Katie says, did he hurt the kids? This is on the 23rd of November. Janelle says, now having blocked cause, never met about going back on the show, only met with Larry to catch up. I just told them I'm leaving David, that's all, and they wish me luck on my future. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's why she went to New York. Also, he admitted to calling me from blocked phone the other night 10 times in a row but said I can't be violated because that was before I was served with these papers which is true and then Katie says oh my fucking god he knew it well I finished the stream and Janelle says and said can I talk about this petition against me because I have interviews in New York City about it judge said no <laughs> what I'm Sorry if this is out of line. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below and you can go and read it for yourself. Janelle says, yeah, I'm fucking livid. Katie, how many times was he physical like that? Katie, your kind of questions, man. Like people are trained to be an advocate. You go through training. You learn how to talk to victims. You learn how to ask them questions without causing further harm, without triggering them because one word can trigger them and they're gone. Like, this is Janelle trusting. How many times was he physical like that? Janelle says, I don't know how I can even take care of the kids if I need surgery. Two to three times since being together in 2015 to 2019. Katie, how did that happen? Did he push you? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Janelle, but he was more angry a lot and screamed in my face and put me down in front of the kids. I honestly don't remember how it happened still. My therapist thinks I purposely blocked it out. I didn't remember any of the incidents until I went through my phone pic and video memories. Katie, wow. Janelle, I'm like, oh my God, all this happened and I don't remember. Katie, so much trauma. Oh God, Katie, you're just eating it up. And like I said, Katie, release this. She released these DMs and then deleted them. But oh my God, she put a DB victim at risk and her children at risk, their lives, so that she could get the one up and remind Janelle that she had the power over her, just like every single abuser out there. Katie Joy is not an advocate. She is an A-B-U-S-E-R. And why do I spell it? Well, I spell it for Katie. We want to linger on every single letter so that it runs through her mind. A-B-U-S-E-R, that's what you are. You're an A-B-U-S-E-R, that's what you are. But you're just evil. And releasing these shows how evil you are. And I'm just here reminding the world because now it's really important because you want to report on Janelle's son, Jace, being abused by David Eason. No way. Stop. You make me sick. Oh.